Hi, I'm Jamal and today I'm going to show you how the Lama He Chiang node works in Maya. Lama materials work a bit different than standard Pixar surface nodes. You first need to assign a Lama surface node on your hair or fur. This needs to be connected with a Lama He Chiang node. And if you want to use the Pixar hair color node, it can also be connected if you want to. If you want to use it, make sure the Remap TT checkbox is not enabled. Today I will not use a Pixar hair color node. If you want to know how it works, you can watch one of my previous videos. Lighting is always important in 3D animation. When it comes to fur or hair animation, a small light source can change the whole look of the hair. So I decided to show you two scenes with totally different lighting. This lighting is with four colorful spotlights and the other scene is with a standard three point lighting. But let's start. Our specular color is the color of the first reflectation from the hair surface. You may need to change it for some artistic reasons, but commonly it's set to white. In 99% is the most realistic and best way to go. TT specular color is the color of the light which transmits through the hair and comes out on the other side. In the Lama Cheng node, it also defines other transmitting colors like TRT and TRRT, which I'm talking about in a second. Sometimes the remap TT color seems to make the hair look way different than the color we chose, but if we have a look at the whole fur, it looks closer to the color we chose. There are two different kinds of roughnesses in this node here, and such as longitudinal roughnesses and the azimuthal roughness. Longitudinal roughness controls the roughness along the fibers axis, and the azimuthal roughness is transverse to the fiber. Primary roughness affects the roughness from the first reflection R. Transmit roughness is the same thing but with the TT light and secondary roughness is the same with the TRT light. As a muzzle has a very strong effect, I usually leave it at 0.35 for human. The value for animals is a bit higher. As I said, the roughness is quite transverse to the fiber. Specular offset is a way to sort of slide the specular reflectations to another site. And with a higher number of refractive index, you can make the hair look less transparent. And it's getting a sort of metallic material. Our specular gain means how strong the light reflects from the hair surface. TT specular gain is the reflection from the light which directly goes through the hair. You can especially see this effect while placing a backlight. This value is very important when it comes to cinematic lighting in both animation and real movies. TRT is about the light which transmits through the hair and reflects from the inside back out of the hair. Sometimes light reflects more than just one time inside of the hair. This effect can be forced by increasing the TRRT value. I won't mention the advanced tab in this video, but if you want to know more about it, contact me on Instagram or write it down in the comments. And this was everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.